In this video, I wanted to talk about why a van, in my opinion, is the way to go when camping. A minivan, in my opinion, is much better than an RV. They can be parked anywhere, better on gas, you don't need a specialized mechanic to uh, work on it, and it's much cheaper. With a minivan, you have everything you need for camping, and to camp comfortable, and to camp safe. Having a, a platform made out of three quarter inch birch plywood gives you all the storage that you would ever need in your vehicle. In this van, I had 18 inches of storage underneath, all the way from the back to the front of the bed riser, and it even gives me space between the seats for a cooler on one side and a porta potty on the other. And in this van, I have a 12 volt shower that runs off my 12 volt pump to where I can shower right off the back gate or on the side of the van underneath the TET plant form that I'm currently building for the van. In this van, I've got a full size bed that sleeps two adults comfortably. When I raise up the back, it puts the bed in couch mode. Couch mode is nice for if you wanna just hang out in your van and relax and get a nice breeze blowing through the back and the sides. You could have the windows open, have the screens in place, don't have to worry about getting bugs in the van and uh, it makes it very, very nice to just lounge, kick back, and relax. Underneath the cushions, it's all three quarter inch plywood, uh, birch plywood, and it's all been banded around the edges. If I unsnap this lid, it has a lid that is held up by struts, and it allows me to access my gear all from the driver's side to underneath the bed riser. When I'm done, it just snaps closed. On this side of the bed riser, I have a square cushion that is separate from the rest of the bed. It's all held into place with snaps. I set the cushion aside, and as you can see, I've got a square panel here that I just reach under and unlock. And this lifts off, and this becomes my dinette table. I have the pipe that I just put in place right there put the table on top of the pipe secure it in place and now i've got a dinette to sit at this is why i like a minivan because you can still have a lot of the same things that you would have in an rv i got clearance above my head i'm six foot tall i can sit here no problem on the, the height of the bed riser that i made and uh, i got a table that can seat two Someone can sit here with their back to the couch. I can sit here on this side. We can pull the bug net across and uh, don't have to worry about anything coming in the van. That attaches to the other side. And uh, can sit here and eat too comfortably, two adults. And so by having a dinette and a couch and a full size bed when everything is put back down level is the best way to go. You're getting three uses out of the same space in just a minivan. The reason why I like a minivan so much is because of the gas mileage I get. I can park this thing anywhere I want to park it. It's stealth. It does not look like an RV from the outside. Nobody knows you're staying in it. You could camp right inside of this thing while on city streets and nobody would even know you were inside. There's many people out there that are like myself that aren't good at wiring and maybe they're intimidated by wiring their vans to have it powered with deep cycle batteries. You don't have to go that method. Right here is a power add lithium generator. This powers everything in the van that I need. I also run things off of power, uh, power tool batteries, like my fan. I have several of these. This is the battery operated fan that I have to keep cool in the summer months. So I can run that in the van with just those batteries. I also have other uh, power banks that uh, run my lights up top, or I can run my lights off of this, charge my phone. I don't have to have any wires going through the van. I don't have to install expensive things like an inverter, put in heavy deep cycle batteries. It keeps the weight down on the van just by running everything off of its own power source without wiring anything into the van, and it's a lot cheaper. Everything has its place to be which makes it easy to find it every time that you need it. You also can go to Harbor Freight and buy a safe like this for only $20. They have safes in every type of size. It'll mount to a wall and it'll even mount to a floor. So if you want to keep your stuff secure in your vehicle, 
It's got a pretty thick door. You can just put some cash in here, your wallet, some jewelry, whatever, and lock it up. Take the key with you. It also has a battery operated keypad for entry. And you can just bolt this right to the floor of your van. You could bolt it to the inside side panel of your bed riser. You could have it in the back. You could have it in the center. Anywhere you want to install a safe to keep your stuff secure while you're out on the trail hiking. I also have enough room in my van with a porta potty. So not only do I have a dinette, a couch, and a full-size bed, but I also have my own bathroom and I also have my own shower on the back of the van. When I'm done eating at the dinette, I just take the table off, pull out the pipe, slide it underneath the passenger seat where it's stowed out of the way. And that just goes back down, locks into place, and then I put my cushion back into place. Everything snaps. That holds my cushion in place. And now I'm ready to go to bed. I also have enough room to slide my 30 quart cooler right here in the back of the van. And I got enough room to keep my larger cooler in the back underneath the bed riser. In the front, the passenger seat also doubles as a table. And if you wanted to create the whole passenger side of the van as its own bathroom, because I have the curtains that close off behind the seats, you could have a second one that would just come around on a track around the passenger seat if you wanted to remove it. And you could put a porta potty there and the whole passenger side of the van could become its own bathroom that you could even access right through the passenger door if you didn't want to do it through the back of the van. Also, the van came with a center console that was bolted to the driver's seat. I unbolted it and screwed it to the top of a tote because I wanted it to be removable so in the night it's not in the way if I have to get to the bed to the driver's seat. Now with the console out of the way and putting the armrest up I can come right through the aisle of the van and get right into the driver's seat from my bed. Here on the header I have curtains that unsnap and slide all the way across to give me privacy and the other one comes across and snaps to it. When I'm done I just slide them back open and then I just snap them with the tie back right here on my header. I also have blackout panels that are covered in felt. They're three quarter inch thick and then I just remove them when I'm going to drive. I also have KC lights up on top of my canoe bars that I can illuminate at night right here from inside my van. Having a minivan has been the best way, in my opinion, to camp. Throughout the years, all the different methods of camping, this has been my favorite way to go. Car camping can be a lot of fun. It's safe, it's inexpensive. It doesn't cost a lot to maintain a dependable Toyota. There's lots of good vans out there with low mileage that you can get for under $9,000 and you can convert a van just like this. Mm -hmm.